Well, it certainly doesn't look like we're getting any tacos today. No queso? Nothing. At least not here. Dang it. Yep. Look at the front, where it says Ames real big. Greetings from Monroeville, everyone. Or should I say hola from Monroeville because we <laughs> are at the one and only... Don Pablo's. Don Pablo's. <laughs> yeah, and it's many thanks to Kayla that we're even here doing a video. So, what happened was yesterday we were out here filming the Monroeville Mall. You'll see that at a future date. Obviously, I'm well behind on my mall videos, especially when I'm uploading them from January at this point. But anyway, we're here at Don Pablo's. This one closed up around 2013 or 14. I want to say 2014. And I, I forgot all about this place. I, I forgot it was here, that it even existed, and that I, apparently nothing has happened with this building. So... Uh, without wasting any time, let's just get right into it and go right up to the building and check it out and see what we see. Yay! <laughs> I hope I can find some queso because Don Pablo's had the best queso blanco. Like, you guys don't even know. I could go for some nachos. I could go for any kind of food. Well, it ain't happening here. So we'll just have to go to Rax, which is three hours away. By the time we get there, they'll be closed. It's already 7 o'clock. And whose problem is that? The man's, because I have to work, you have to work. And if we don't work, we don't make money. And then we can't go to racks or... Well, we can't anyway, because we're stuck at work all day. Damn it. That's what the weekends are for. Then. But I got bowling league this weekend, too, so that's, that's not happening. That's what office for. <laughs> you want racks, you make it happen. <coughs> oh, I better call off tomorrow. I'm feeling, I'm feeling sick. I can't call off because I'm like the only person who has keys <laughs> to my job. So if I call off, like the whole thing isn't open. Everybody's calling off then. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go check out Don Pablo's before I actually get hangry. You already sound like you're hangry. Well, I am because they're closed. But. All right, let's go see if we can get some queso. Yeah. It might still be good. You just might need to refer. Um, you might need to put it in the microwave even if it's a little bit old that's fine <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you i don't care nothing's killed me yet all right let's do it all right as we walk up towards this place fun fact that at home was the monroeville kmart while majority of the store was turned into at home the garden center section just remains empty Unless they use it for back room or storage, that there is not used, to my knowledge. Why, I do not know. But anyway, Don Pablo's. The fact that at one time you could pay more and Don Pablo's in the same parking lot, that is amazing. Literally right next to the mall, too. Don Pablo's was the best ever. I love this place. Yeah, their food was pretty good. It's all Don Pabloed out in here. Let me zoom in so you can actually see in there. Oh. There we go. With the little fountain, all the seats on every table, all dusty. Everything's dusty in there. Closed in 2014. 13 or 14. You would think with me living here my whole life and actually just about 20 minutes away from Monroeville that I would have remembered that this was here, but nope, not me. Take it to Kayla to point it out. So, this video is because of her. <laughs> it's definitely for sale. Look at all the paint, the colorful paint in there. The red, the green, the yellows. Pretty nice. Yeah, I wish I 
I know, I'm hungry. Can't go in here, though. <laughs> they got the old neon up there, all the way up the top. I don't know what you can see down this way, but we'll take a walk down this way. What the heck? There are other businesses here, so I don't know how much we'll be able to see. Oh, look, right here, you can see right inside. There are no blinds. Oh, look at that, there's the old signage. Kayla, come here. Yeah. Look at the old signage in here, it's all in here. Are you serious? Yeah, the neon and everything. Look at that. Look at that. I wonder if you hook up power to that, would that still turn on? There's the other half of the sign right there, and then the purple sign, which also said Don Pablo's. That might have been what was on the building, maybe, or on a smaller pole. Oh, man. Look at all the water damage on these tables, too. Oh, wow. Wow, would I like to take a walk through there. So I found that by the door. I don't know if you saw that or not. What's that? It was taped to the door and it was starting like... Termination notice? Water service. Well, yeah, there's nothing used in this building. Except uh, the rain <laughs> and dust and mold. Oh my gosh, how cool is that to spot those signs? But the signs were in there. Oh my gosh. I guarantee you if you hook up power to them, they'll turn right on. <laughs> I almost guarantee it. Um, so... Uh, they look like they're larger than the entire car. <laughs> um, I don't think we're going back this way because there's really nothing back here. Um, boy, is that a Toyota Celica? I think that is. <laughs> yeah, I don't really... Yeah, there's nothing to see back this way. Yeah. We'll go around the other side, though. Lots and lots and lots of Mm-hmm. Beautiful day out here. This is mid-May. <laughs> It's in the low 80s already. Summer's like already here. I'll take it. I love it. <laughs> we just filmed the mall yesterday, and I obviously you haven't seen that video. You won't see that video for a little bit as I catch up on older mall videos. But I wanted to get this one out quickly. Somebody got to pay their water bill. <laughs> The neon hanging off the ceiling there, or off the ceiling, off the wall. Wow. Big empty parking lot. The only car in it is the Z. As I'm kicking pine cones. Look at the pine cones. I like these. Look how perfect this one is. The dumb little acknowledgements I make. <laughs> I like how some of them landed upside like that, like they landed like that perfectly. But yeah, there's your Kmart, which is now at home. We've actually shopped in there. And we did look in the uh, the old garden center the one night we were shopping there. We peeked through the, the windows outside and they never really did anything with it. I don't know if they use that for back stock or furniture. There's another look inside of Don Pablo's. Yeah, you can see all the paint, all the signage. Oh, the windows over there by the kitchen area. Yeah. What a sight for sore eyes. I can't believe I never filmed this. And as much as I've been doing YouTube and as long as I have, I've never done this place. I never even knew it was here. Like, I forgot all about it. Man. Look at all that little hut. To the left uh -huh. is where they would make the tortillas and the chips and all that good stuff. You could make chips and tortillas out of the dust now. Mix a little bit of water, might concrete them. I don't know. <laughs> it's so sad though because now I want some quesos and chips and Mexican food. Uh huh. I hear that. Don Pablo, if you're watching this video, please come back. Yeah, really. I'll support you wholeheartedly. <laughs> Yeah, there's a soda fountain right here. How Wally loves rafts is how I love Don Pablo's. Yeah, and 
I really, I could really go for Rex, but that's three hours away. <laughs> Did you see this? Huh? You see where it says fresh tortilla? There's another Don Pablo sign right here. Look. Mm -hmm. I saw it, yeah. How many did they have? They <laughs> that's three. There were three on the building. But that's then... three alone. And then the purple one, the smaller one. And then like a road sign. That's what I mean. If only I had the space for that. I would buy that Don Pablo's neon. I guarantee you that would power up, but I can't even imagine how much that would cost in electricity a month. Even if I only turned it on like once in a blue moon or for like get togethers, but our place wouldn't be capable of having something that large. Continuing on, here's the last window. Yeah, you can see all the water stains on that table there, all the damage that it's taking. That's when it's been closed out long. Got skylights in there. A lot of them did. Water damage on the floor. What a shame. That was a nice find. Let me climb up here. I could just easily take the steps, but why make it easy? Yeah. Take a walk over here, see what we could see on this side, because you couldn't really see anything on the other side. All right, so that's the garbage area. No trespassing, no trespassing, no trespassing. Okay, so we won't bother doing that. Probably to keep homeless out of there if they were using at the camp, especially with that awning right there, I'm sure. That's all right. I'll just peek right through the fence, but I ain't going to do anything else. Yeah, that would probably be why, because there's that opening back there. A squatter, someone could hang out back there, or people could do illegal things back there, like drugs or something, or God knows what. I'm just here to put this on camera because who knows, this place will probably get demolished, or if they do repurpose it, all that Don Pablo's aesthetics and everything will be gone, and that's the reason why we put it on video to save that. Because future generations, they're not going to know what Don Pablo's was. We grew up on that place. And even though I didn't eat at Don Pablo's as much as Kayla did over the years, I still enjoyed their food the times I did go. So, I'm gonna, gonna miss that, you know? It's been a few years for me anyway. But man, I really, I would really like to see the Don Pablo signage go into a museum. Or if the right collector could get it, that would be phenomenal. As Kayla kicks pine cones at me. All right, well, I guess that'll wrap it up then. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for our look at Don Pablo's. There is literally nothing here except some awesome neon signage. And that's about it. You can't eat neon signage, though. No, but we could power those bad boys up and watch them glow. Man, would that be cool. But then it would make me sad because I know I can't go back to Don Pablo's ever again. Ever. Unless we open up our own and then get trademark problems. But, no, how cool was that finding those? I did not expect to see those just yeah. sitting in there like that. Like, when we came up to the restaurant, I was thinking in my head, like, what did they... Like, this place is closed. Like, all of them are gone. So, what did they do with all of their signage? And, well, my question was answered with this one. I would have figured it got tossed. It was broken, thrown away. Honestly, with how good of shape they all look, at least one of those signs should end up in a museum. I know there's a neon sign museum in Cincinnati, and there's another one out in Vegas. Clearly, sending this out to Vegas would be way too far. But Cincinnati, Cincinnati. is four hours away, and it's... They also it's had, doable. They also had Don Pablo locations out in Cincinnati, apparently. Yeah, but who knows if there's any other signage. We don't know. Who knows if there's any other signage out there. I never saw any at the Battle Creek, Michigan location that we did, nor the one in, uh, what was Fort that? Worth. Fort Worth. Yeah. So this could be one of the very few in the country with neon signage hanging around in it. But, I mean, I could also be wrong, but still, that needs to be saved. 
and I think that's really, really cool that that was in there. Like I said, if I had the room or the space or even a way to haul it, I would take one of those and power it up at our place. It's just too small because that signage was easily the size, if not bigger than the car. So that's not going to happen unless I get a truck and a trailer or a U-Haul. <laughs> then you got to watch not to break it. My clumsy self, I'd be loading that in a truck, drop it and shatter it and it would be done. But at least there's two more in there. Remember, my parents back in Texas have trucks, so call them, hey, mom, dad, uh, you want to come 20 hours away to Monroeville and help us pick up a sign? I, you'd still need a trailer. Oh, well, hopefully that gets saved. So this is why we do this, because it's cool to check out these places that we had in our past, and future generations, they're never going to know what Don Pablo's was unless we tell them or you know, they see old photos or videos such as this. I mean, they had some pretty good Mexican cuisine and it's just a shame they all closed up. I and know. uh I really the selections around Pittsburgh are slim unless you want to go to El Campesino or uh Patrons. Patrons and there there's actually a Patrons right up the parking lot here. And uh there's a the Los Mariachis which opened up in Moon and a couple of other like one off places but Don Pablo's was one of those big chains that everybody knew about. Yeah, Don Pablo's, their food was very similar to On the Border, but I would say it was Which probably... Which is another place I haven't been to often because they don't have any here. Don Pablo's was probably... If I had to compare Don Pablo's and On the Border, I would say Don Pablo's was a little bit more authentic. Way better than Chi-Chi's, so... <laughs> Nobody died from Don Pablo's. Yeah. And that one got demolished years ago, too. The one that was in my neck of the woods on uh, McKnight Road in the North Hills. That was long gone. I actually had family members that worked at that one years mm -hmm. ago. So, but, um, oh, well, we're going to take off. Uh, <laughs> that was a cool find. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. If you're not a subscriber, you know what to do. And we'll talk to you guys later. So take care. Stay awesome. Have a Don Pablo's. Let's just stay. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I miss you, Don Pablo's. I love you. Bye. Me too. Bye.